Okay. All right, so here we go. Uh, <laughs> got my girlfriend as the cameraman this time, not uh, my cell phone, but hers. Um, I'm going to show off a little bit of uh, the new ROM that I installed on my MK802 device. Uh, it's for Droid mode. It has Uniput enabled. As far as I'm concerned, the only thing I care about is this. And it is running and everything is working good. I'm using my cell phone as the mouse, keyboard, media player, and a joystick. So when you first uh, have everything installed and it comes up with the ROM, I'm going to show you something real quick. Is the settings. Everything will be in Chinese. First thing you need to do is go to the settings tab. Open it up. You'll see right here there's an A for language and input. Just try to figure out your way over there. Usually the best way to start off with is to use a wireless keyboard and mouse. Language and input, just like that. At the very top, it'll be in Chinese, but all you have to do is push and hold right there. And uh, after you hold down on the mouse with like a left click for about two seconds and let go, it comes up and it'll give you the English options. The second thing you might want to do is the keyboard and input method. Um, as you'll see, it'll be listed as the Chinese, but uh, I usually just select Android keyboard English. The only difference between the two of them is there's two little input buttons that are that come up in Chinese, so you're not really missing out on much on that. So anyway, this is a home screen. Um, once you have uh, that set and you're in English and you get the Play Store set up and get all your whatever you want downloaded, it's important to get and install what's called BusyBox. BusyBox is what allows the programs to be super user. So all you have to do is search on the market for BusyBox. And then install that. The way you install that is you start it up. I'm not going to do that now because I don't want to mess anything up. Let it run for a few seconds. It has a smart load feature. Once it smart loads, click uh, install. Let it run. And if it takes about over two, three minutes, then something's probably wrong with the device. I simply just flashed it until I didn't have a problem anymore. I, I Either I got lucky, I don't know what's up, but that's how I got mine working. And I don't plan on flashing it anytime soon. So... Then you go in, and you'll be able to start up a Joy Mode server, and turn it on. You can also go into the settings, which are right here. And uh, the easiest thing to do is uh, start up on boot. Make sure your Joy Mode password matches the one on your client. Don't worry too much about the port. The ports are going to be the same, but if you have something custom you got to do, it's all good. Um, and then you just exit out of that. <coughs> Now, once uh, everything's good and set and done, one, every time you reset your device and boot it back up, the first screen it loads is the uh, Droid Mode box. So all you have to do is hit the Home key. After you connect, you're good to go. Um, that's the gist. I'll show off a little bit of Plex. I got everything finally up and running perfectly on that. It's uh, let's see here. It's actually quite nice now. I was missing a lot of content. I figured out how to. Uh, have it do a deep scan, and now everything should show up. Go to all shows. Yep. And you see it shows all the seasons. And that's the brightness for that. I don't know how well this is going to come in. Okay. This is the uh, mouse pad screen. That's the media center button screen, which I don't know if it rotates. Apparently not. This is like a uh, media center screen, uh, volume up and down, which the device does have a volume. And uh, it does get quite loud in, in terms of uh, what it is. 
And then there's the remote, the great game controller screen. You can see, pretty nifty. It's upside down because my device thinks it's upside down. So, anyway, that's the gist. I usually turn off the tilt because it's annoying. I'm trying to sit here, like, through the whole video and talk to you. I hold it sideways and it goes like that. So, um, like I said, that's pretty much all I use it for. If you want to check, uh, Netflix, Netflix runs pretty good on the device. I've only seen maybe a few hiccups when using uh, Droid mode right now. It seems like it, it could be my wireless at the house. It seems like it drops out maybe randomly every hour or so. And all I have to do is disconnect and connect a few more times. That's good to go. But now, last but not least, a little test here, click that. There's a keyboard menu on the screen for your device. And as you can see, you just type in. Yeah. And while it doesn't work perfectly well for a browser, it is only 100 bucks. Figure out if you're running into problems. Once you have everything plugged up, plugged in, I just unplug the device from the USB cable once you get the driver properly installed. Uh, hold down the reset, plug it in, the device will start flashing. Just hold the button down. Wait till it's done. It gave me an error, but uh, it's working perfectly fine for me. So, hope it helps. And uh, like I said, look up uh, in the comments and look at the link for a little helpful guide for the uh, language again as well as uh, the flashing kit. All right, thank you.